Hi everyone, my name is Courtney and I'm Fiber Fox Studios. Welcome to Mosaic Monday. Today we are going to be working on this crochet pattern, which is pattern number 42. It is a multiple of 16 plus 4 for those of you who are going to work flat, or just a multiple of 16 for those of you who are going to work in the round. You can work flat or in the round, left or right handed, here with this tutorial today. So I'm going to walk you through this sample and explain this to you real quick. We are doing a multiple of 16, but we have a total of 40 rows. So what I've done here on this sample in the video, you'll be seeing this down here, and we're going to be working a repeat together so that you guys know how to work your row. And my sample represents three repeats wide and two full repeats tall if you were to rewind the video and work a second set of this pattern. So doing so, let you see this secondary pattern right here in between the main pattern as you move up. So if you look real close on my sample, you can see that there's a change on color B. When I started the repeat over at row three, all the instruction is there in the video, you know, as necessary. But when I restarted that repeat, I did a color change on color B. So when I started over, I used a new color B, and that was so you guys could see a little bit better when I'm saying that this is two repeats tall. This is where we work in the video, and then I rewinded and worked a second set up here. So that is how you achieve the full design. You get to see the secondary pattern. We're going to jump into the tutorial now. Um, links are down in the description to the Etsy store where you can buy the chart set for those of you who want it. Remember, you never need that. I take you through step-by-step, row-by-row in the tutorials all for free here on YouTube. So you don't have to buy any chart sets, but for those of you who want them, there's a link down in the description along with project ideas. The crochet hook that I am using is always linked down there as well. Row start times for those of you who just want to skip ahead and move row to row. That's all down there in that description, so make sure you are checking those out. We're going to jump into the tutorial now, so you need to grab two colors of yarn, your favorite crochet hook, and let's get started. To begin, we chain in the multiple of 16, and we do that in color A. So we begin working in color A, chaining 16 over and over as many times as you would like. And if you're working flat, you are going to simply add four chains to the end of your chain count. If you are working in the round, you're going to chain only in that multiple of 16, and then you will slip stitch to form a ring. You're going to go right there to the very first chain you made, slip stitch into that, and then you will begin working the repeats given in the video in that same stitch that you slip stitch into. When you're working in the round, you're forming a tube. So people use this for purses, throw pillows, cowls, and a lot of other things. Project ideas and other information is always down in the description, so make sure you check that out. So we are now going to begin row one. If you're not ready, just pause the video, chain out the project that you want to do in your multiple of 16, and then meet back up with me for row one. Row one begins now, and we are going to be working into the second chain from our hook. So we skip the first chain, and move here to the second, and we want to go completely into the stitch to do a traditional single crochet. So we want to go completely under the V. Try that one more time. Da, da, da. There we go. We want to get into the V. And then we finish a single crochet just like normal from there. Now our repeat for row one is going to begin, and the repeat is very simple. We're going to be working a back loop only single crochet into each and every stitch. For the rest of the tutorial, I will call these just single crochets, but you will know that when we're working our repeat stitch, we are always working single crochets by picking up the back loop only, so one side of the stitch, and then from there, we single crochet just like normal. So that is what we need to do in all of our stitches. And then at the end of the row, when you have one stitch left, we're going to be working a traditional single crochet again. 
but I will meet back up with you at the end of the row to show you that. So just continue to work your single crochets in that back loop all the way down your row. And then we'll be back in a moment for the end of the row. We are here at the end of row number one. We have one stitch left in every stitch at the end of the row. We will be working a traditional single crochet. So you'll just go into that complete stitch under the V. And single crochet like normal. From here, you can bind off however you prefer. I happen to chain up two and clip my yarn and I cinch that down. That's how I do my bind off, but bind off however you like. We're now going to be moving on to row number two. Row two begins now and we are going to be working in color B for this row. For me, I'm going to be using this color blue. To begin, we return here to the start of our row and we want to find the very first stitch in our row. We have this turning chain from row one when we began, so we need to scoot that down out of the way and make sure we don't try to work into that. We want to look for the V and go into that V and go completely into our stitch. Once we're in there, we can grab color B and then we want to join on. This is how we join on every single row. You can do a slip knot if you like, but we pull up this loop. Now we chain one, so I grab tail and working yarn to kind of lock it all in place. Now allow your tail to fall, and we're going to go back into that same exact first stitch, and we work into that stitch. We're going to grab our yarn and pull up a loop, and then grab and pull through all of that to finish out that traditional single crochet. So that's how we begin and join on for every single row. Now our repeat for row two begins and it is exactly like row one. We just do a single crochet in each and every stitch. So remember when we're working the repeat, we pick up one side of the stitch and that is how we work all of our single crochets all the way down the row. And last stitch in the row will be a traditional single crochet. So working completely into the stitch. So continue to place your single crochets and meet up with me when you're ready for row number three. Row three begins now and we are working in color A. Row number three's repeat begins with four single crochets. One. Two. Three. and four. One double crochet. All of our double crochets will be worked exactly as I'm about to show you. So you wrap your yarn just like normal. Then we identify our next stitch and we slide down, directly down, and pick up the front loop that we left when we did those back loop only single crochets. So now we're going to finish out the double crochet just like normal. So I grab and pull up a loop, grab and pull through two, grab and pull through two. So very easy to do. Each double crochet you make covers up one stitch on here on this back row. So you can fold it back, check and make sure that you have the same number of stitches skipped on this back row. 
that you have double crochets worked when you're working your pattern. That is the number one place people will get off on their stitch count because you will accidentally work into that same stitch that the double crochet is taking up on that row. So make sure you're not doing that. Now we're going to continue with the repeat, which continues with two single crochets. So we're going to identify our next stitch. Start working our single crochets. There's one. And number two. Three double crochets. There's one. Two and number three, two single crochets. So let's fold this back. Let's take up one, two, three. There's one. And here's number two. One double crochet. Three single crochets will end our repeat. One. Two, and number three. So that ends our repeat. So let's recap what we've done. Row number three's repeat began over here with four single crochets, one double crochet, two single crochets, three double crochets, two single crochets, one double crochet, and we end with three single crochets. So we're going to work the repeat one more time together. If you are experienced, you guys know exactly what you need to do. So you can skip ahead to row four whenever you're ready. For the rest of us that are new, we're going to work this repeat again. So when I give you the repeat, I really mean to start back over at the beginning of it and keep working that exact set of stitches. So our repeat begins with the four single crochets. So I'm going to begin the repeat with four single crochets. Here's number one, number two, and number three. Last but not least, number four. Now we will work one double crochet. Two single crochets. One. And two. Three double crochets. One, two, and three, two single crochets, one, two, one double crochet, And we end the repeat by doing three single crochets. One, two, and three. 
So that ends the repeat for a second time on this row. So let's look at what our work is looking like. So as you can see, when you start your repeat over, you can have sections like this where you're going to have just single crochets through here. We have a total of seven of them when you do your three that end and start back over with your four that begin the repeat. It's correct, you'll keep moving on down your row and then you'll meet back up with me. We'll do the row end on row three to show you how all of your row ends will be worked going forward in the pattern. And we'll do that together in just a moment. We're now here at the end of row number three. This is how all of our row ends will work out. You'll see that after you finish a repeat at the end of your row, you will finish the repeat and have two stitches left on every row. You are going to restart your repeat for the next stitch, and then you do your traditional single crochet always in the last stitch of the row. So whatever the row's repeat starts with is what will be worked in this next stitch. So for row three, the repeat starts with single crochets, so we'll be doing one single crochet, and then a traditional single crochet in the last stitch of the row. And that's what you'll do on all of your row ends. So now we're gonna move on to row number four. Row four begins now and we are working in color B. For those of you who are new, I am working a total of three repeats of the pattern on my row. Row four's repeat begins by doing three double crochets. One, two, three, two single crochets, one, and number two. One double crochet. Five single crochets. One. Two. Three. four, five, one double crochet, two single crochets, one, two, and we'll end the repeat by working two double crochets. One. And number two. So that ends our repeat for row four. So let's recap. Row four's repeat began with three double crochets two single crochets, one double crochet, five single crochets, one double crochet, two single crochets, and we end with two double crochets. So keep working that exact set of stitches on down your row and meet up with me whenever you're ready for row number five. As a reminder, at the end of your row, you will have two stitches left. You will restart your repeat for one stitch, and then you will do your traditional single crochet in the last stitch of the row. So we'll be back in just a moment. Row five begins now and we are working in color A. 
Row five's repeat begins by doing three single crochets. One, two, and three. One double crochet. Two single crochets, one and two, two double crochets, oops, there's one and number two. One single crochet, two double crochets, one, and number two. Two single crochets. One and two, one double crochet, and we'll end the repeat by doing two single crochets over these next two stitches. So one and number two. So that ends our repeat, so let's recap. Row five's repeat began with three single crochets, one double crochet, two single crochets, two double crochets, one single crochet, two double crochets, two single crochets, one double crochet, and we end with two single crochets. So continue on down your row and meet up with me when you're ready for row number six. Row six begins now and we are working in color B. Our repeat for row number six begins with two double crochets. There's one and two. Two single crochets. One and two. One double crochet. Three single crochets, one, two, and three. One double crochet, three single crochets, one, Two, three, one double crochet, two single crochets, one and two, and one double crochet to end the repeat. So that ends our repeat, so let's recap. Row number six repeat begins with two double crochets, two single crochets, 
one double crochet, three single crochets, one double crochet, three single crochets, one double crochet, and we end with two single crochets and one double crochet. So that's all you will need to keep repeating over and over on down your row. So we'll be back when you're ready for row number seven. Row seven begins now and we are working in color A. Row seven's repeat begins by doing two single crochets. One and number two. One double crochet. Two single crochets. One and two. Two double crochets. One and two, three single crochets, one, two, and three, two double crochets, one. Two. two single crochets, one and two, one double crochet, and we end the repeat by doing one single crochet in this last stitch. So that ends our repeat, so let's recap. Row seven's repeat began with two single crochets, one double crochet, two single crochets, two double crochets, three single crochets, two double crochets, two single crochets, one double crochet, and we end with one single crochet. So keep working that exact set of stitches all the way down your row, and we'll be back for row eight. Row eight begins now, and we are working in color B. Row eight's repeat begins with one double crochet, Two single crochets, one and two, one double crochet, three single crochets, one. Two, three, three double crochets, one, two, and number three. Three single crochets. One, two, and three. One double crochet. Two single crochets. One and two. And that ends our repeat. So let's recap what we've done. 
Row number eight's repeat began with one double crochet, two single crochets, one double crochet, three single crochets, three double crochets, three single crochets, one double crochet, and we end with two single crochets. So start back over at the beginning of that repeat and keep working on down your row. We'll be back in just a moment for row number nine. Row number nine begins now and we are working in color A. Row nine's repeat begins by doing one single crochet, one double crochet, two single crochets, one and two, two double crochets. One and number two. Five single crochets. One, two, three, four, five. Two double crochets, one and number two, two single crochets, one and two. One double crochet will end the repeat. So that ends our repeat. So let's recap what we've done. Row number nine's repeat began with one single crochet, one double crochet, two single crochets, two double crochets, five single crochets, two double crochets, two single crochets, and we end with one double crochet. So we will meet up for row 10 whenever you're ready. Row 10 begins now and we are working in color B. Row 10's repeat begins by doing two single crochets. One and number two. One double crochet. Three single crochets. One, two, Three, two double crochets, one, and two, one single crochet, two double crochets, One and number two. Three single crochets. One, two, three, 
two, and three. One double crochet. And one single crochet right here into the next stitch. And that ends our repeat. So let's recap what we have done. Row number 10's repeat began with two single crochets, one double crochet, three single crochets, two double crochets, one single crochet, two double crochets, three single crochets, one double crochet, and we end with one single crochet. So we'll be back when you're ready for row number 11. Row number 11 begins now and we are working in color A for this row. Row number 11's repeat begins by doing one double crochet. Two single crochets. One. Two. Two double crochets. One. And number two. Three single crochets. One, two, three, one double crochet, three single crochets, one, two, three, two double crochets, one, two, and we will end the repeat by doing two single crochets, one, and number two. So that ends our repeat. Let's recap. Row number 11's repeat began with one double crochet, two single crochets, two double crochets, three single crochets, one double crochet, three single crochets, two double crochets, and we end with two single crochets. So continue to work and meet up with me when you are ready for row number 12. Row 12 begins now and we are working in color B. Row 12's repeat begins by doing one single crochet. One double crochet. Three single crochets, one, two, three, two double crochets, one, two, three single crochets. One, two, three, two double crochets, one, and number two, three single crochets, one, two, 
and number three. One double crochet will end our repeat. So that ends the repeat. Let's recap. Row number 12's repeat began with one single crochet, one double crochet, three single crochets, two double crochets, three single crochets, two double crochets, three single crochets, and we end with one double crochet. So we'll be back for row 13 in just a moment. Row 13 begins now and we are working in color A. Row 13's repeat begins by doing two single crochets. There's one and number two. Two double crochets. One and two. Three single crochets. One, two, three, three double crochets. One, two, and number three. Three single crochets. One, two, and three. Two double crochets. One and two. One single crochet to end the repeat. So that ends our repeat. Let's recap. Row 13's repeat began with two single crochets two double crochets, three single crochets, three double crochets, three single crochets, two double crochets, and we end with one single crochet. So keep working on down your row and we'll be back for row 14. Row 14 begins now and we are working in color B. Row 14's repeat begins with one double crochet. Three single crochets. One, two, and three. Two double crochets. One and number two. Five single crochets. One, two, three, four, and five. Two double crochets. One and two. And we end the repeat with three single crochets. One, two, and three. So let's recap. Row 14's repeat began with one double crochet three single crochets, two double crochets, five single crochets, two double crochets, and we end with three single crochets. 
So you'll keep working that set of stitches all the way down the row and we'll be back for row 15. Row 15 begins now and we are working in color A. Row 15's repeat begins by doing one single crochet. Two double crochets. One. And number two. Three single crochets. One. Two. And three. Two double crochets. One. Two. One single crochet. Two double crochets. One. And two, three single crochets, one, two, and three, two double crochets, one, and two. And that ends our repeat. So let's recap what we have done. Row number 15's repeat began with one single crochet, two double crochets, three single crochets, two double crochets, one single crochet, two double crochets, three single crochets, and we end with two double crochets. So start back over at the beginning of the repeat and continue to work on down your row. We'll be back for row number 16 in just a moment. Row 16 begins now and we are working in color B. Row 16's repeat begins with one double crochet. Two single crochets. One. And two. Two double crochets, one, two, three single crochets, one, two, and three, one double crochet. three single crochets, one, two, and three, two double crochets, one, and two. And we'll end with two single crochets. One and number two. So that ends the repeat. Let's recap. Row number 16's repeat began with one double crochet, two single crochets, two double crochets, three single crochets, one double crochet, three single crochets, 
two double crochets, and we end with two single crochets. So keep working that exact set of stitches all the way down your row, and we'll be back for row 17. Row 17 begins now, and we are working in color A. Row 17's repeat begins by doing one single crochet, two double crochets, one, and two. Two single crochets, one, two, two double crochets, one, two, three single crochets, one, two, three, now we're going to work two double crochets, one, two, two single crochets, one, and two, and we'll end the repeat by doing two double crochets. One and number two. So that ends our repeat. So let's recap what we've done. Row number 17's repeat began with one single crochet, two double crochets, two single crochets, two double crochets three single crochets, two double crochets, two single crochets, and we end with two double crochets. So continue to work on down your row. We'll meet back up for row 18 in just a moment. Row 18 begins now and we are working in color B. Row 18's repeat begins by doing one double crochet two single crochets, one, two, two double crochets, one, and two, two single crochets, one, two, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, two single crochets, one, two, two double crochets, one, and two, and two single crochets to end the repeat. One, two. So that ends our repeat, so let's recap what we've done. Row number 18's repeat began with one double crochet, two single crochets, two double crochets, two single crochets, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, two single crochets, two double crochets, 
and we end with two single crochets. So we'll be back when you're ready for row 19. Row 19 begins now and we are working in color A. Row 19's repeat begins by doing one single crochet. two double crochets, one, two, two single crochets, one, two, one double crochet, two single crochets, one, and number two. One double crochet, two single crochets, one, two, one double crochet, two single crochets, one, two, and we will end with two double crochets. One. And number two. That ends our repeat, so let's recap what we've done. Row number 19's repeat began with one single crochet, two double crochets, two single crochets, one double crochet, two single crochets, one double crochet, two single crochets, one double crochet, two single crochets, and we end with two double crochets. So we will continue to work and we'll meet back up when you're ready for row number 20. Row 20 begins now, and we are working in color B. Row 20's repeat begins by doing one double crochet, two single crochets, one, And number two. Two double crochets. One. And number two. One single crochet. one double crochet, three single crochets, one, two, and number three. One double crochet, one single crochet, two double crochets, one, and number two. And we'll end the repeat by doing two single crochets. One, two, 
That ends the repeat. So let's recap. Row 20's repeat began with one double crochet, two single crochets, two double crochets, one single crochet, one double crochet, three single crochets, one double crochet, one single crochet, two double crochets, and we end with two single crochets. So we will be back when you're ready for row 21. Row 21 begins now and we are working in color A. Row 21's repeat begins by doing one single crochet, two double crochets, one, and number two. Two single crochets, one, two, one double crochet, one single crochet, three double crochets, there's number one, two, And number three. One single crochet. One double crochet. Two single crochets. One. Two. And we end with two double crochets. One and number two. So that ends our repeat. Let's recap it. So row 21's repeat began with one single crochet, two double crochets, two single crochets, one double crochet, one single crochet, three double crochets, one single crochet, one double crochet, two single crochets, and we end with two double crochets. So continue to work that exact set of stitches and then meet up with me for row 22. Row 22 begins now and we are working in color B. Row 22's repeat begins by doing one double crochet, two single crochets, one, and number two, two double crochets, One and number two. One single crochet, one double crochet. three single crochets, one, two, and three. 
one double crochet one single crochet two double crochets one and number two and we will end with two single crochets over these next two stitches to end that repeat so there's one and here is number two so let's recap what we've done Row 22's repeat began with one double crochet, two single crochets, two double crochets, one single crochet, one double crochet, three single crochets, one double crochet, one single crochet, two double crochets, and we end with two single crochets. So continue to work that exact set of stitches and meet up with me when you're ready for row 23. Row 23 begins now and we are working in color A. Row 23's repeat begins by doing one single crochet. Two double crochets. One and number two. Two single crochets. One and number two. One double crochet. one single crochet three double crochets one and two three one single crochet one double crochet two single crochets one two and two double crochets to end the repeat one and two so let's recap what we have done row number 23's repeat begins with one single crochet two double crochets two single crochets one double crochet one single crochet three double crochets, one single crochet, one double crochet, two single crochets, and we end with two double crochets. So keep working on down your row and meet up with me when you're ready for row 24. Row 24 begins now and we are working in color B. Row 24's repeat begins by doing one double crochet, two single crochets, one, and number two, two double crochets,
One, two, one single crochet. one double crochet three single crochets one two and three one double crochet one single crochet, two double crochets, one, two, and we end with two single crochets. One, and two. All right, so let's recap what we've done. Row 24's repeat began with one double crochet, two single crochets, two double crochets, one single crochet, one double crochet, three single crochets, one double crochet, one single crochet, two double crochets, and we end with two single crochets. So continue to work and then meet up with me when you're ready for row 25. Row 25 begins now and we are working in color A. Row 25's repeat begins by doing one single crochet, two double crochets, one, and number two. Two single crochets, one, and two. One double crochet, two single crochets, one, two, one double crochet. two single crochets, one, two, one double crochet, two single crochets, one, two, and we end with two double crochets. One, and number two. So let's recap what we have done. Row 25's repeat began with one single crochet two double crochets, two single crochets, one double crochet, two single crochets, one double crochet, two single crochets, one double crochet, two single crochets, and we end with two double crochets. So continue to work on down your row and meet up with me when you're ready for row 26. 
Row 26 begins now and we are working in color B. Row 26's repeat begins by doing one double crochet. Two single crochets. One and two. Two double crochets. One and two. Now we're going to do two single crochets. One, two, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet. Two single crochets, one, two, and we'll do two double crochets over these next two stitches, one, And two. And then we'll work two single crochets to end our repeat. One and two. So that ends the repeat. Let's recap. Row 26 repeat begins with one double crochet, two single crochets two double crochets, two single crochets, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, two single crochets, two double crochets, and we end with two single crochets. So start back over at the beginning of the repeat and continue to work. We'll meet up again when you're ready for row 27. Row 27 begins now, and we are working in color A. Row 27's repeat begins by doing one single crochet. Two double crochets. One. And number two. Two single crochets. One. Two. Two double crochets. One, two, three single crochets, one, two, and three, two double crochets. One, two, two single crochets, one, two, and we end by doing two 
double crochets. One, two. So let's recap what we've done. Row number 27's repeat began with one single crochet, two double crochets, two single crochets, two double crochets, three single crochets, two double crochets, two single crochets, and we end with two double crochets. So continue to work on down your row and we will be back when you're ready for row number 28. Row 28 begins now and we are working in color B. Row 28's repeat begins by doing one double crochet, two single crochets, one, two, two double crochets, one, two, three single crochets, one, two, three. One double crochet, three single crochets, one, two, three, two double crochets. One, two, and we end by doing two single crochets. One, and two. So that ends our repeat. So let's recap what we've done. Row number 28, repeat, begins with one double crochet, two single crochets, two double crochets, three single crochets, one double crochet, three single crochets, two double crochets, and we end with two single crochets. So continue to work your row and meet up with me for row 29. Row 29 begins now and we are working in color A. Row 29's repeat begins with one single crochet. Two double crochets. one and number two three single crochets one two three two double crochets, one, two, one single crochet, two double crochets, One, two, 
three single crochets. One, two, three. And we will end the repeat with two double crochets. one and number two so let's recap what we've done row 29's repeat began with one single crochet two double crochets three single crochets two double crochets one single crochet two double crochets, three single crochets, and we end with two double crochets. So continue to work and meet up with me when you are ready for row 30. Row 30 begins now and we are working in color B. Row 30's repeat begins with one double crochet, three single crochets, one, two, and number three. Two double crochets, one, and number two. five single crochets, one, two, three, four, and number five. Two double crochets, one and number two, and we'll end the repeat with three single crochets, one, two, and number three. So let's recap what we've done. Row number 30's repeat began over here with one double crochet, three single crochets, two double crochets, five single crochets, two double crochets, and we end with three single crochets. So continue to work on down your row and meet up with me for row 31 when you're ready. Row 31 begins now and we are working in color A. Row 31's repeat begins by doing two single crochets. One. And number two. Two double crochets, one, two, three single crochets, one, two, three. Three double crochets, one, two, three, three single crochets, one, two, 
three, two double crochets, one, and number two. And we end by doing one single crochet. So that ends our repeat. So let's recap what we've done. Row 31's repeat began with two single crochets, two double crochets, three single crochets, three double crochets, three single crochets, two double crochets, one single crochet to end the repeat. So keep working that set of stitches and meet up with me when you're ready for row 32. Row 32 begins now and we are working in color B. Row 32's repeat begins with one single crochet. One double crochet. three single crochets, one, two, and three, two double crochets, one, two, three single crochets, one, two, three, two double crochets, one, And let's try that again. Number two. Three single crochets. One. Two. And three. And we'll end the repeat with one double crochet. So that ends our repeat, so let's recap what we've done. Row number 32's repeat began with one single crochet, one double crochet, three single crochets, two double crochets, three single crochets, two double crochets, three single crochets, and we end with one double crochet. So continue to work on down your row and meet up with me when you're ready for row 33. Row 33 begins now and we are working in color A. Row 33's repeat begins with one double crochet. Two single crochets. One. Two. Two double crochets, one, two, three single crochets, 
one, two, and three. One double crochet. Three single crochets. One, two, three, two double crochets, one, and two, and we'll end with two single crochets, one, and two. So that ends our repeat, so let's recap. Row 33's repeat began with one double crochet, two single crochets, two double crochets, three single crochets, one double crochet, three single crochets, two double crochets, and we end with two single crochets. So continue to work on down your row and meet up with me when you're ready for row number 34. Row 34 begins now and we are working in color B. Row 34's repeat begins by doing two single crochets. One and number two. One double crochet. Three single crochets. One, two, and three. Two double crochets. One, and number two. One single crochet, two double crochets, one and number two, three single crochets, one. Two and number three. One double crochet. One single crochet to end the repeat. All right, so let's recap what we've done. Row 34's repeat began with two single crochets one double crochet, three single crochets, two double crochets, one single crochet, two double crochets, three single crochets, one double crochet, and then we end with one single crochet. So start back over at the beginning of the repeat and continue to work. We'll be back when you're ready for row 35. Row 35 begins now and we are working in color A. Row 35's repeat begins with one single crochet. One double crochet.
two single crochets, one, and number two. Two double crochets, one, and number two. Five single crochets, one, two, three, four, and five. Two double crochets. One and two. Two single crochets. One, two, and one double crochet to end that repeat. So that ends our repeat. Let's recap. Row 35's repeat began with one single crochet, one double crochet, two single crochets, two double crochets, five single crochets, two double crochets, two single crochets, and we end with one double crochet. So continue to work and meet up with me for row 36. Row 36 begins now and we are working in color B. Our repeat for row 36 begins with one double crochet. Two single crochets, one, oops, and number two. One double crochet, three single crochets. One, two, three. Three double crochets. One, two, and three. Three single crochets, one, two, and three. One double crochet, and we will end with two single crochets, one, and number two. So that ends our repeat. Let's recap. Row 36 repeat begins with one double crochet, two single crochets, one double crochet, three single crochets, three double crochets, three single crochets, one double crochet and we end with two single crochets so continue to work that exact set of stitches and then meet up with me when you're ready for row 37. row 37 begins now and we are working in color a row 37's repeat begins by doing two single crochets one 
and number two. One double crochet. Two single crochets. One, two, two double crochets. One, two, three single crochets. One, two, and three. Two double crochets. One and two. Two single crochets. One. Two, one double crochet, and we end with one single crochet right here in this next stitch. All right, so that ends our repeat. So let's recap. <laughs> All right, so row 37's repeat began with two single crochets, one double crochet, two single crochets, two double crochets, three single crochets, two double crochets, two single crochets, one double crochet, and we end with one single crochet. So you're gonna to continue to work and then you'll meet up with me for row 38 when you're ready. Row 38 begins now and we are working in color B. Row 38's repeat begins with two double crochets. One and number two. Two single crochets, one, two, one double crochet, three single crochets, one, two, and number three. One double crochet. Three single crochets. One. Two. And three. One double crochet, two single crochets, one and two. And we work one double crochet to end the repeat. So let's recap what we have done. Row 38's repeat began with two double crochets, two single crochets, one double crochet, three single crochets, one double crochet, three single crochets, one double crochet, two single crochets, and we end with one double crochet. So continue on down your row and meet up with me when you are ready for row 39.
Row 39 begins now, and we are working in color A. Row 39's repeat begins with three single crochets. One. Two. And three. One double crochet. Two single crochets. One and two. Two double crochets. There's one and number two. One single crochet, two double crochets, one and number two, two single crochets, one and number two. One double crochet. And we end with two single crochets. One and number two. So let's recap our repeat. Row 39's repeat began with three single crochets, one double crochet, two single crochets, two double crochets, one single crochet, two double crochets, two single crochets, one double crochet, and we end with two single crochets. So continue to work on down your row with that exact set of stitches and meet up with me for our final row, row number 40, whenever you are ready. Row 40 begins now and we are working in color B. Row 40's repeat begins with three double crochets. One. Two and number three. Two single crochets, one, two, one double crochet. Five single crochets, one, two, three, four, five, one double crochet. Two single crochets. One and two, and we'll end the repeat by doing two double crochets. One and number two. So that ends our repeat. So let's recap what we've done. Row 40's repeat began with three double crochets two single crochets, one double crochet, five single crochets, one double crochet, two single crochets, and we end with two double crochets. So you will start back over at the beginning of the repeat and keep working on down your row 
and we will meet up one last time to talk about how you will end this section in a project and how you can move up for additional repeats for larger projects. So after you have completed row number 40, from here, if you're going to make a bigger project, you can rewind back to row 3 and work rows 3 through 40 as many times as you want to build out your project. Once you have completed all the repeats of this design that you want, I recommend that you go back after row 40 is completed for the final time. I recommend that you go back to row 3 and work row 3 as the final row on your project or on this piece if you're using it with a lot of other designs. So you finish out by doing row 3 as your final row and that way your project or this section of the pattern will be ending the same way that it began and it will look more even or it will look even because that will make it even by doing that. <laughs> so hopefully you have enjoyed this tutorial and if you have, please give me a thumbs up and feel free to leave a comment below. As always, I appreciate you guys so much for watching and taking your time every week to check out my videos. So until next time, bye for now.